But first here tonight at 5:32, two brothers cleared tonight of murder charges. And good evening once again. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Katie Eusen. Jordan and Anthony Hottenstein were accused of shooting and killing 19-year-old Amez Hall in July 2011. The pair was found not guilty of murder late last night in a Clark County courtroom. The judge cited the Castle Doctrine, which also applies to Carr, saying their actions were self-defense. In our top story at 5:30, Rob Sneed explains the precedent. The verdict came down Wednesday night at 930 for Jordan and Anthony Hottenstein. Much to their relief, the brothers were found not guilty of the murder of Jamez Hall. They were in their car um, and the evidence showed that a robbery was taking place. Uh, the judge told the jury that they had to presume that the defendants were acting in self-defense. Jordan Hottenstein's lawyer Richard Mayhaw says this case fell under the castle doctrine. It's a belief that your home or your car is your castle and you have the legal right to defend it. In this case, authorities found a semi-automatic with a round in the chamber on Jamez Hall at the time of his death. It's a, it's a tragedy, but there was evidence that the decedent had been talking to his associates that day about robbing the Hottenstein. So that evidence combined with the gun made it pretty clear that a, a robbery was, was underway. Some background. The Castle Doctrine took effect in Ohio in 2008. Several states all over the country also uphold the Castle Doctrine. Some residents in the Miami Valley, like Krista Esposito, support it. Because I'm a single mother of two kids, and if somebody comes into my house, I don't want to be penalized for somebody else's actions. If she hopes cases like the Hottensteins will be a wake-up call for criminals looking to hurt innocent people. I would say with this law, I think people will think twice before they come into your house or try to jump in your car. Reporting in Clark County, Rob Sneed, 2 News. Now, despite the acquittal on the murder charge, Anthony Hottenstein was found guilty of assault, tampering with evidence, and improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle. His sentencing date on that has not been set, but his brother Jordan was cleared of all charges in the case.